right now I'm in Hanoi. I was able to borrow this wonderful bicycle from the family that runs the Airbnb where I'm staying. And uh, I'm gonna start hunting for apartments. Now, my budget is quite low. I'm gonna try and find something around $200, so I might have to end up settling for a room in a shared apartment, but let's see what we can find for 200 bucks. All right, so the first one is in the Taiho district. That's right on the east shore of West Lake. Let me just add a few things here. Uh, first of all, this was like my third day in Hanoi, so I was still quite a noob when it comes to this city. So to start with, the neighborhood is not pronounced Taiho, but Taiho, and it means West Lake in Vietnamese. And it's actually not limited to only the east shore of the lake, but it goes all around the lake. Now, that being said, you'll probably find the largest population of expat on this little neighborhood on the east side, on the east shore of the lake. Now, to give this video a little bit of context, most of my research for this apartment hunting was done on Facebook in apartment search and expat groups. It's probably not the best place to find the most variety or the best deals, but I didn't have much time and I couldn't think of any other resources when I first landed in Hanoi. Now that being said, I think Facebook is a great starting point for apartment hunting. You just have to be a little bit careful because there's a lot of spamming, scamming and misleading going on there. So maybe, you know, looking at what others are doing first is a good idea. But you can still find some good stuff. Now, for this case here, I had been talking to this girl online who reached out to me through one of those Facebook groups. And she offered to show me two rooms in two different shared apartments. So. Let's get back to it. I think right now I have to cross there and go past this little wall there. Well, that's where the, the agent gave me the appointment. Six. Hello, are you looking for a apartment? Yes. Yeah, uh, I just say how right. Huh? Look a apartment with my college, the girl. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, come with me. Uh, what's the name of the girl? Um, Okay. All right. So apparently, you have to follow this guy. Sorry, those brakes sound horrible. One more little curve. Damn, it's a hidden spot. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Whoa, it's a secret spot. <laughs> I can leave my bike here? Yeah. Bicycle? <laughs> Here you share electricity, uh, drinking water with the other talents. One one month around um, 
900,000 for cleaning lady, electricity. Yeah, water, drinking water, electricity, and showroom, uh, everything. Good. Internet also? Yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. Okay. Here is everybody from uh, Western people. Western people oh, only yeah. in this building. How many people in this building? Uh, five. Five, yeah. five people. Yeah. So including here? So total of six or? Total, yeah, total so, five. Total five. Okay, so really high ceiling. There's the air conditioning here. And this is the view. And this is the bathroom. Shower bathroom. Yeah. This is private or a private bathroom no, or with it's shared with one shared person? With so here there's one person yeah. that both use. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this was 200? Yeah. Okay. I want you there. So here is the shared living room? Yeah. This shared is for everybody? Okay. And the kitchen is here? Yeah. Okay. And this is the shared kitchen for all five people. And you said there's also a cleaning person that comes? Yeah. Like cleaning what? Cleaning every Thursday. Every Thursday there's a cleaning person. All right. So that's, that's one. So apparently I have to go see another one 200 meters away. That one is going to be 210. I just spoke to one of the tenants. Oh, wrong direction. I just spoke to one of the tenants at this first place and it seems all right, nothing special, nothing, no complaints, but no, wow. The guy showing me the apartment was rushing me out and rushing me to stop talking to the tenant and go see the other one. Hey, uh, don't, don't push me, don't push me. It's okay, I just talk to someone. Uh, okay. I, I don't work for you. You understand that? Yeah. You know, you're not my boss. I just ask questions. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right. I don't really like to be rushed, especially if I'm looking at something that I'm going to purchase or rent. You know, I want to take the time to take a good look at it, see if I enjoy it. If it's inspiring, see if it seems interesting, if I would picture myself living there and, you know, kind of have a good idea of what it's all about. Anyways, let's go see the other one. Oh. Yeah, those brakes. Sorry that I called you uh, Ross because uh, I have a, another... Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, so it seems like there's a lot of people here. This is the shared kitchen and dining area. This is the shared living room. The room uh, 404. 404. Fourth floor. <sighs> Gonna have some good uh, leg muscles if I live here. Yeah. Okay, this one is 210. This one is 210? Yeah. Include the internet, cable TV and water. You pay only electricity. So how much every month for electricity? Yeah, last month is 300,000 uh, For the room or for everything? For uh, the yeah, electricity? For, for, for everything. Including the room? Yeah. 300. But uh, it depends on how do you food. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the 300,000 is uh, uh, average, right? Average. Like, I mean, it can be more, it can be less. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, okay. Here. A lot of storage. So this is the bathroom. Which shower right here. Hello. The view is nicer here. Yeah. We have a rooftop also. Do you want to check it? Okay. Let's go see the rooftop. Yeah. Okay. Washing machine and dryer. Oh, you have a swimming pool too. Yeah. 
Wow. For summertime is good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and the washing machine here and the dryer. All right. Yeah. Over there is West Lake. All right, that's a nice place. So this, uh, this area here is like for, for everybody to yeah. just hang out, eat, yeah. drink. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, so this was the second place. Um, the second one looks better for 10 bucks more a month. Although the shared space look a bit more messy. It looks a little bit more like a frat house. It could still be an interesting option. The room really looks good. Um, this one is actually closer to the road, so I think it's probably easier to have access to. The other one was a little bit harder to find, kind of a, a maze to go through to get to the house. So I can imagine that, you know, facilities and like convenient stuff like little shops and restaurants are a little bit further away. While this second one here is much closer to the big boulevard in Taiho, which is called Alco. Alco? I'm not, I'm not sure how to say it. Like that's how you spell it. That I've only read it a few times and never heard someone say it. Yeah. I think I was quite distracted or in a strange state of mind during that time because I mean, forgetting to zoom out and ending up with a shot like this for such a long time without noticing or some other shots of the floor and weird camera movements. Anyways, this was just the beginning. Uh, the second part of this little apartment hunting series will be up very soon as well as other videos about Hanoi. So stick around. <laughs>